What is going on? Vin Lee here, and we are back at at it with another Conan Exiles video. And I am going to have to go on an iron run here. And you know, I thought I'd start off the video next to this torch to the right. Um, not sure why. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks a little distracting. So we are going to have to go on an iron run because I honestly just don't have enough iron around here to satisfy my needs now I have worked on the foundation a little bit I have taken it out this one more ring here and uh, taken out a little platform over here gonna be overlooking the nice little uh, lake there and waterfall um, so yeah let's let's get at it I'm gonna have to fix these steps this was just temporary so once we get everything up top done we'll uh, fix those steps but on to the iron run now this iron run is going to be somewhat kind of dangerous as I do not have the weapons to fend off the wild animals that I may encounter um, over in this area there are bears and uh, definitely wolves and I'm not too keen on trying to fight any of those animals right now as uh, I don't have the weapons to do so and I do not have the stamina to really outrun them so we're gonna have to be very careful um, if memory serves me right uh, there's usually a wolf that is up there and as long as I don't get too close to that ridge I should be fine you can kinda see its head poking out up there uh, he kind of moved I saw him as I was walking up uh, this little guy is not gonna bother us he's a uh, shell back and he's just guarding he's somebody else's uh, pet that they tamed so now this is where it gets tricky I know there's iron over here I just don't want to get too close to anything to aggro it and put me in danger so this is a risky run right now. I'd love to have some other weapons other than some stone daggers just in case I get into trouble, but just gonna kinda go slow, take it slow. And uh, looks like somebody has a nice little setup there. Got some elephants and some rhinos guarding. Uh, there's that wolf. You see that wolf I was talking about? He's just kind of lounging up there. I don't know if he's just the overseer of the territory, but it's not something that you want to get involved with. And as long as I don't go up near there, he uh, shouldn't come bother me. Oh, I just heard something. Uh, oh, oh, okay. That's strange. I got a little elk trying to chase me down. Uh, I think we might be able to get this elk. Yeah, we should be able to get, get this elk with no problem. Yeah. See, I'm not too worried about the elk or anything like that. It's the uh, wolves and the bears right now that I would worry about. And we gained a level there. Let's harvest this guy up, get some meat, bone, and hide. So I'm not too worried about those guys, but it's the uh, bears and the wolves, like I said, that you gotta watch out for. Looks like somebody else has a nice little setup here. That's, that's a pretty big gate. Let's see who it is. The Savages, CR. Hmm. Should we go take a peek? I know we came for the iron, which there's the iron over there. You can kind of see it. Uh, kind of tempted. I want to go see what they got over here. Let's uh, let's take a peek. Uh, doesn't look like they got much over here. Looks like this is more of a taming area for him. I got some animal pens here. 
Looks like a wheel of pain up there. A stable. And not sure what's in that building. I can't see through that door. Not going to mess around over here. Just thought I'd pop up. I'm going to say hi to our friendly wolf guarding the area over there still. So let's go down and let's harvest uh, some iron. That's what we came here for. Make sure nothing's over here. Keep hearing. I, mean, I don't know if it's the headphones or if it's actually something over here, but I keep hearing some. Oh, there we go. That's what I heard. See that bear? Yeah, that. Oh, that bear's not going to be good. We got to run from the bear. Run from the bear. Luckily, bear's not going to climb. Or is he? I'm not 100% sure. Okay, now that we aggro the bear. Not quite sure what to do. I could possibly... Looks like he's going away. Maybe he's going to leave us alone. Let's uh, see where he goes. Maybe we'll go down this way. Let's kind of stay away from him. Because I definitely cannot take on a bear. An elk is one thing, but a bear? Not going to happen. Drink of water, some food. All right, let's uh, let's go through this way. We'll keep the bear to the left. Stay over there. You stay there. We're just gonna go get some iron over here. You stay over there. Keep an eye on him so he doesn't sneak up on us. All right, let's harvest some of this stuff up real quick. Doesn't take long to harvest it up, but I want to keep an eye on that bear in the background at the same time. Like I said, this is uh, kind of a dangerous run. If I had some good weapons, I'd go after the bear and take him out. And wouldn't really have to worry about keeping an eye out. But it looks like looks like he's going to stay over there. It's not going to bother us too much. Oh. As I'm harvesting, I see see some animals over here, but these are somebody's pets. They're not going to bother us. Looks like some tigers. You can hear that elephant off in the background. I am far from taming any pets right now. Just trying to get established. Get my base set up a little bit. Like I said, this is going to be a good spot to harvest iron. There's a lot of iron here. So I think um, I'll frequent this area quite a bit. That's why I like kind of being where I'm at. You have access to a lot of different things. Um, typically, you want to be a higher level when you come up this way, but kind of risking it. And you can see it's going to pay off. You're going to get all this iron. And, uh, you know, I'm probably going to cut some of this out and uh, we'll come back after I harvest this iron up because it's probably going to be maybe a couple more minutes and I'm sure you don't want to see me just whacking at iron all day. So we'll come back. All right, so I harvested all the iron that was over here. Um, picked it pretty clean. There was even some iron over here on that rock base over there that I picked clean. And you can see from my weight up in the left-hand corner that I am pretty much uh, tapped out as far as what I can carry. I took it all to 99%, which uh, one more percent and I would be over encumbered and it would be a bear to make it back. No pun intended with that bear somewhere around there. He is. He's still sitting over there. Um... It's going to do it for this iron run, but I'm kind of curious. I haven't been out this way yet. I'm kind of curious to see who's all built some stuff around here. I see this guy's pretty much claimed out this lake. It's a nice little lake. We got this guy up here. I wonder if it's the same guy. Maybe not because he's kind of far apart. 
But it could be. Oh, okay. There's a wolf over there. We don't want to get too close to that little guy. You can see the wildlife out here is uh, pretty intense. That's why it's kind of a bad idea to come this way when one, you don't have good armor. And as you can see, I don't have any armor at all. And okay, I just aggroed that wolf. Okay. So now we are going to have to make a run for it. Okay. I don't remember the wolves being that fast. And I got goosebumps. I am kind of afraid right now. No joke. Alright. He is lunging at me. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to outrun him. And it would really stink to die with all this iron on me. I do not want to run towards the bear. As that would not be good. Okay. I am officially out of stamina. And I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. Alright, I'm going to show you a little trick. And as long as it doesn't put any of these guys' lives in danger, I am I am going to come over here and kind of hide in this neighbor's place. Because they will not bother me. But they will go after the wolf. And as long as I don't get in between them, I will be okay. So we are going to let his archers kill this wolf for me. And I know it's kind of cheesing it. Um, you know, as long as I'm not putting any of his people in harm's way, I don't see a problem in it. And uh, looks like all his people are up top here, so they're not going to be in harm's way. Now, if his guys were down there, I probably wouldn't do it because you do not want to have the wolf take out one of his guys. And when he logs back on, he probably would not be that happy. All right, looks like the looks like that rhino is making short work of that wolf. I'm gonna let them duke it out a little bit. We'll watch from afar. That rhino should have no problem taking that wolf out. And uh, better him than me, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Alright. I don't know if I want to go in and try to get a few looks in or not. Or let the rhino kind of have at it. Uh, I'll get in the mix a little bit. Kind of coming at the end. Coming at the end to steal the kill. That's okay. Uh, let me harvest this guy up. I don't really want to hit the rhino. Get some wolf pelt. Oh, now I am over encumbered. I forgot I was at 99%, so let's see, what can we drop? Well, we don't need that. Uh, I can get rid of the sticks. And that takes me back at 99 so there, we are good. So we are going to try to make our way back. We're going to get some water, some food. And that, that bear hasn't moved. He's still sitting over there. Hmm. So I learned a little trick on uh, how to get away from a wolf when there's a friendly camp by you. Had that camp not been there, I would have probably been a goner. Uh... My stamina is not where it needs to be. I haven't leveled it up that much. I don't have the weapons. I don't have the armor. And had I tried climbing something, I would have probably lost stamina and fell and got chewed to my death. So uh, if I see that guy on, I'm going to have to thank him for his help. Like I said, I, I don't condone using other people's thralls and pets to do your work for you, but... In that case, I had no choice and uh, saved my life. Quick thinking on my feet. And uh, that's what experience will get you. Uh, had that been PvP, I, that wouldn't have worked. I would have been destroyed by his th thralls and his uh, pets. So I would have had to try to deal with the wolf myself. But on PvE... Uh, friendlies aren't gonna bother you so 
So I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up with this uh, episode. Like I said, I needed to make an iron run, and we got we got quite a bit of iron out of, out of that. Um, let's see. We got 554 iron. Not too bad for one run. So we're going to throw that iron over here in the furnace. And we are going to let that burn. And that iron is going to turn into iron bars. And then we can craft stuff with it. So, I gotta say, I, I love hearing that waterfall. That's one of, one of the reasons why I picked this spot is because it's kind of relaxing to be out here. And once I get this, you know, I'll put a chair out here, put some lights out here, and kind of just hang out and chill and relax a little bit by this waterfall. You know, it's a nice uh, overlook into the water. You know, I think it's a great way to end this video. You know, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell for notifications. And I uh, really appreciate you sticking this far along and uh, hanging out with me and watching the video. Hope to see you next time.